Happy Monday, everyone. It's January 25th, and if you've been eagerly awaiting more details on the rose gold and platinum versions of the Samsung Gear S2 smartwatch, then today's your day. Samsung officially kicked off the global launch of the Gear S2 Classic today in China, with US availability expected, quote, early this year, though we're guessing in the next month or so. The Classic is a slightly classier version of the Tizen-based smartwatch, and although pricing has not yet been announced for the US, European pre-order pricing suggests it will come in at around the $500 mark, a $200 premium over the standard versions. They are certainly pretty. The rose gold option comes with an ivory wristband, while the platinum sports a black band, but at the end of the day, it's still a Gear S2. A smartwatch our own Jeffrey Van Camp reported as something of a hot mess. It's got connectivity problems, and worst of all, there's no apps for it. Perhaps because it runs on Tizen instead of Android. Anyway, I hope all that changes soon because the look, feel, and the user interface is awesome. Fix it up, and I'm sold. And that's coming from an Apple guy. Speaking of Apple, another supposed 4-inch iPhone photo hit the internet this weekend, this time with what is supposed to be a prototype of the phone placed next to an iPhone 5 for size comparison. This photo seems to suggest that the new phone will essentially be a smaller version of the iPhone 6, while previous leaks suggested it would be along the lines of a 5C. Other rumors continue to be the inclusion of either an A8 or A9 chip, somewhere between 1 and 2 gigs of RAM, and possibly Touch ID and Apple Pay. So, almost like an iPhone 6 but not really, but it kind of looks like one. Actually, that totally sounds like something Apple would do. Anyway, we guess we'll know for sure later this year, but prepare yourself for plenty more rumors between now and then. It looks like Windows 10's Cortana will soon help you keep the promises you make in emails. The idea is Cortana will scan your emails for strings of words indicating a time-based commitment. Let's say you tell someone you'll get that spreadsheet to them by the end of the day on Tuesday. Cortana will interpret that to mean you should have a reminder and then ask you if you'd like to set one. You still get to decide whether or not you do or don't set the reminder, so it's not as if this is a completely automated process. Still, it could save some time and embarrassment from forgetting to put the new cover sheet on those TPS reports. Cortana will also be a little bit more helpful with your appointment in case someone tries to slip you a last minute meeting request or move things around in a way that royally screws up your schedule. You know, I've been trying to think of some snarky stuff to say about this, but mostly I just think it's pretty awesome. And it starts today. As always, you can learn more about these tech stories and all the rest of the day's news at digitaltrends.com. That's it for me today. I'll see you again tomorrow.